especially one particular black key that's kind of a pain to get, in my opinion. Oh, this room does not look good, but you know, no mana. I don't know. I don't like I don't like the look of this room. There is a crack on the wall. Wonder what we do about that. Looks like we'll be back later. Oh my god, look, there's the black key. That was so difficult, wasn't it? Oh my god, there's spikes. Uh oh. Uh, yep, looks like we gotta get out of here. Alright, well. Dang! We got a certain amount of time to get out of here, I guess. I actually remember failing this on my very first playthrough because I didn't, I didn't, because I didn't know what the layout of this room looked like. Uh, but um, it's actually as simple as that. Uh, but um, if you actually dawdle around too much in that room, you do die. So uh, be careful. But uh, thankfully, we made it through. What happens if I go back in the, in there again? Oh, okay. All right. Just curious. I've never actually revisited that room before, but uh, that's nice to know. Here you go. Fools! Oh my god, I fell for it again! Why do I always fail, fall for this? <sighs> the castle's traps prevent anyone who enters who entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this is a great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly googly boo. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, so for this curse, it's more cursedly curse worthy than any curse that's ever been cursed you. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense, but okay, guess what? We get to turn into a piece of paper. Like, this game isn't even paper enough, well, we get to turn even more into a paper. Like this. Oh my god, look how thin we are. How embarrassing, I know, right? Alright, do I understand what this means? Why is no the default option? I don't get you. But there we go. So that is our second ability out of the- that's our second curse ability. So with that, well, I don't know about you, but I can't get out. I'm kind of locking these bars. I'm stuck in jail forever. Not for long. What happens if I go in here? Will this, uh, okay. I thought that was actually an enemy, but I guess that's not. Yeah, some of these, some of these bones, some of these pile of bones are dull bones. So, I mean, if you want to try, you could, like, maybe, uh, go near a pile of bones and figure, and figure out if they're actually dull bones or not, but, yeah. I'll just, I'll just find whatever com uh, comes in mind, I guess. Hold on, I think I'm forgetting something. Let's go back. I'm going ahead of myself. I just realized that's not a good thing. Going ahead of, getting going ahead of yourself. Yeah, when you go, like when you think you can do something, you you think that you're missing something, and you just keep going. And eventually, when you reach a certain point, well, well, that's that. I guess. That's not that's not a good thing. Wait, did I get that? Did did I get the? Yes, I did. Okay. So this is attack attack fix R, um, and it's a free badge. So that means you can equip it and unequip it whenever you want, even if you have zero badges. So I'm gonna equip it right now and see what happens. What do you guys think of the sound of that? Do you guys like that? I'm gonna turn it off if you guys think it's annoying. I will. I think that's a great sound. Okay. Anyway, so that's that. That's that's the one thing I was missing right there. There was a key there. If you paid attention early on, early on the castle, that yeah, that that one was there. Um, I'm glad I did not go too far ahead. Although it, I'm glad I realized that early on. Otherwise, if I reach a certain point and realize I don't have that key, oh my god, I don't even know what I, what, I, what I'm gonna do. But um, 
I can't tell you how many times I go through this castle realizing that I didn't grab that key because it's a very embarrassing mistake and it kind of sucks. But anyway, now we can go ahead and head up here. Alright, so you can open this door if you want, but uh, I'm probably not going to do that yet. Oh, okay, I guess we are. Alright, well, there's a badge there if you want to go ahead and uh, try and get it, but as of right now, I don't think we can do that. Alright, there's a heal block over here, but I feel like I'm in, I'm in good condition that I don't need that at the moment. Claw the wall and the bridge appears with that switch. Oh my gosh, I, I, I like I love this game's transitions. They're, a lot, they're definitely a lot more fancier than the than the uses that Paper Mario One made. I don't know. That's just that's probably me. And we go out of the window over here and we get ourselves a star piece. Very nice. Uh, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've explained star pieces. Actually actually yeah I did say, I did explain star pieces. I'll be getting as much of those as I can. Hopefully. Alrighty, continuing onwards here. Alright, well, let's see. You could just hit this block, but I don't know. What are the chances of it leaving me behind? Let's see. Pretty likely. Oh, hi! <laughs> wow. Alright then. So there's a locked door on the right. So we can go inside over here. What the heck? What? Who are you? I can't believe there are thieves here besides me. How very strange. Thieves? Uh, I don't think we're thieves here. I don't, I don't know. Miss Mouse, a globe-trotting thief. I heard there are rare and valuable badges here in this castle, that's why I'm here. Alright. Uh... Yeah, we're here to beat Hooktail. I don't know if you heard of this guy, uh, but uh, it is this castle. Uh, I'm sure- I'm sure you're- I'm sure you heard of him since it is- since you're- you are in this castle. <laughs> no matter how cute you are. I didn't know there was such thing hidden in this castle. How oh, very intriguing. Hmm. What? I don't know. I think after my time, I should get the sex So I guess you're not interested in getting the Crystal Star? Oh, very well then. I guess it's a free victory for us in that case. Oh my god, first Goombella and now this person? What? What is up with what is up with these characters, man? And these characters aren't even human. And they kiss Mario. Is that legal? I don't know. Ask the police. I think the police will know more will, will know better than that, I think. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hooktail, or so you've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is, but I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I get. I I think I found. I think I found something like that. Let me know. I guess we'll meet again. Full of romance. I don't know. Oh, I'm low. Look at this place. There's bowling balls and spears? Holy crap, this place though. 
I bet like a group of warriors lived here until until Hooktail like I don't know took over this place or something. I don't know why this mouse did not take any of these right here. I mean, these are closed treasure chests. Why would you? Who would ever pass over a free treasure? Like seriously, like you can get a mushroom and a honey syrup. Man, who would ever pass over those? Anyway, here's another Shine Sprites. That is the second out of 42 Shine Sprites that we found already. For anybody who wants to, for anybody who wants to collect all the Shine Sprites, we'll, we, we will be getting all of those in the game. Anyway, so with the key that we found, we're gonna go ahead and enter this right, this right side door. So let's go ahead and, and enter right now. All right, still much more ways to go, it looks like. That's probably another thing I did not mention. You can't super guard projectiles, but uh, because projectiles are projectiles, you can't- you won't be able to counter the move back. block over here and it looks like we're gonna have to hit this block again but uh, okay that's not what you're supposed to do all right well that's uh since i did the wrong thing i guess we're gonna have to do this again that sounds like fun all right Ooh, what do i see over there i don't know but i might as well pick it up unless wait wasn't there I don't know. I feel like I'm actually missing. I'm missing like an important item. Unless I remember, I'm remembering things incorrectly. Right, but uh, anyway, over there's a star piece. If I miss something, it's probably not too important because I can easily get get it somewhere else. You know. But I don't know. We'll just keep going and just hope. I guess. Alright, anyway, head over here. And we can get ourselves another, another castle key. And if you hit that down, well, we get a last stand uh, P badge. Uh, any P badge, well, this yeah, this is a new addition to the Thousier Door. Anytime you get a P badge, uh, that means that that badge only works for your partner um so that means i got the badge last stand uh which is normally drop damage dro drop the damage in half when you're in danger and danger mode is is five hp or less so that means if coops or any part party member in, in uh, if for that matter uh if they're in five hp or less then they will take one half damage from enemies, uh, so very useful if uh, you feel like your part your partners aren't going to survive. Okay, yes, I did miss something because I'm a scrub. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop down over here and head down this way and get and get a life shroom. Uh, life shrooms are very are pretty helpful in this game uh, because if you die, then you will uh, get healed up 10 HP. Uh, so very. Oh, oops! What did I do? All right. <laughs> I don't know what I did there, but uh, but um, yeah, that's a very useful bat, or if it's a very useful item, uh, especially like if you want to play safe throughout this game, there I would highly recommend th that item. Of course, of course, if you want to take a challenge and think that you're gonna survive the whole game without dying, which is very unlikely actually, because this game is pretty difficult, then. 
by all means, be my guest and and do that. It's up to you. I will not stop you if you feel like if you feel like that you that you can beat this game without using a life stream. It's just safety. Anyway, head down over, uh, heading back to where we left off. There, I probably should have cut uh, cut stuff out there, but uh, I, uh, I don't know. It didn't really take us that long to get back to where we left off. I felt like. All right, and over here is another shine sprite. Cool. Now we head on through. Wow, we are very high up into this place already. That's awesome. Actually, actually, we're uh, actually not, not only we're high up here, but we're actually almost here. <laughs> Of course, when I'm very uh, when I'm usually really bad at getting those slots, I get the well. First, I it, I was really surprised I got the shine sprite bingo. Like I, like that, pretty much never happens. And then of course, in the next battle, when the slots came up again, well, but with the poison shroom, oh my god, unbelievable. <laughs> I don't need four mushrooms, although that'd be cool. But actually, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, all right, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm tired. I'm tired of being full on items at this point. All right. Okay. Um. Well, what do you? What does it mean when you have a save block and a heal block right next to each other? Uh, probably something really bad. So that means uh, that is going to be it for this episode of Paper Mario oh, yeah. Thousand Year Door. And next time, we are going to finish the rest of Hooktail's Castle. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.